Autumn is the perfect time for a farm visit in Middle Tennessee. I'm Paulette Lasitra, publisher of the journal Alimentum. Our PR director, Anna Kate Teft, and I led an eat and greet tour to some outstanding producers and artisans in the Nashville area. Our first stop, Sylvia Harrelson Garnier's Green Door Gourmet Farm. The blue actually lasts longer than any other pumpkin. These will last until March if you keep them dry and cool, and the flesh is sweeter than a regular orange pumpkin, and it makes fabulous pumpkin ravioli. Green Door Gourmet runs a CSA program where participants get fresh produce every week. They also supply produce to some of the best restaurants in Nashville. Field number four, that's all fall and winter items, which is chard, collards, mustard greens, turnips, mm. radishes, beets, arugula, kale. In our short visit, we learned a lot like using end-of-season basil stalks to flavor a grill fire. Kenny's Farmhouse Cheese, we have some Gouda. This is a blue Gouda. Jellies and jams are all fresh made. The strawberry gives enough of that different fruit flavor to the fig, so it doesn't terrify people. Right. The taste. So okay. it's a nice balance. <laughs> Our next stop was just a few miles away to a workshop where they produce organic fabric dyes from plants like sumac, goldenrod, and indigo. Artisan Natural Dye Works, or Ask Apparel, was created by sisters Sarah and Alessandra Bellos. Alessandra gave us a tour. In these next few years, we're going to be starting a network of dye plant growers um, and having a line of products that's made exclusively with colors that come from farm-grown natural dyes. For each different dye material, there's um, different processing needs. So some of them need to get to a certain temperature and be held there, but no higher for a certain amount of time. So tannins, when you treat fiber with a plant that has a lot of tannins in it, and you add iron to the material afterwards, um, you can get beautiful grays, purples, blacks. And this one, sometimes the grays are more um, have more of a brown shade, and sometimes they have more of a purple shade. And Sumac is one that has more of a purple shade. Alessandra and Sarah had just harvested some indigo, which was drying in the backyard. We took a moment to ask, why go on a farm tour in Middle Tennessee? My name is Ellen. I just recently discovered about myself I'm a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm JJ, and I'm new to the area, and I work with Teresa learn more about Nashville and see what they already have, and I love it. <laughs> I always love to cook. Um, it's always been southern fare, though, and the older I get, the more I want to branch out and drag my husband kicking and screaming <laughs> along with me. And I'm interested in food and cooking and growing things, and I'm really into Nashville right now. Paulette and I were just talking about where we live and what we could do that would be interesting and food-oriented, but also just artisan-oriented that's right here. And this was the second of the two tours that we've done, so it's not just about creating food products, it's about growing and being aware of the earth and being aware of what, you know, this really interestingly fertile area of this country can offer. <laughs> I've lived here four years and still don't know that much about Nashville and decided, you know, doing this tour is just a great way to just learn a little bit more. I'm a foodie too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an AA meeting. <laughs> and I've always been into but never knew anything about what we have here in the Nashville area as far as CSAs and locally grown things and locally made things. For lunch, what better place than Seema Prasad's Miel restaurant? The farm fresh produce comes from their own garden at Green Door Gourmet. We enjoyed a true farm to table feast lavender lemonade, smoked trout amuse-bouche, salad just picked that morning. The beets are from our farm and some are from Farmer Dave's farm, as in that's Okay. The carrots are from our farm. Um, the blue cheese is Kenny's blue cheese. So it's that Barron County blue. It's a raw cow's milk cheese from Kenny's up in Kentucky, Barron County. Blue. The entree, braised pork and vegetables. The turnips and the okra and the green beans from our farm. 
And then the pork, as someone was saying, is from Sequatchie Cove, which is just outside of Chattanooga. You've heard of the Sequatchie River, probably. For dessert, apple galette. Oh, After lunch, we hit the road to Franklin, Tennessee, about an hour south of Nashville. Our last stop, Noble Springs Farm, where Dustin and Justine Noble raise goats for their milk and where they also produce goat cheese. This is Teresa, she's an alpine. This is uh, Fame, she's a talking bird. They get milked every 12 hours, and if they go much over 12 hours, usually they, are, they look like they're gonna bust. We're going to be bottling milk. It gets pumped over into this, this rectangular tank over here where it's been cooled to be pumped over to our bottle filler, which you can see over there. There's a conveyor that feeds jugs in it, um, and then that fills the jugs and caps them and everything. But we make, most of you guys probably know what we make the most of is Chev, which is just a soft goat cheese, and then we make feta as well. We're going to have babies in January. I'm so excited. I, I look forward to the baby goat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's like, I'm sure I'm getting tired of this. I'm like, no, I love the baby goat. Goats, farmers, fields, plants, and the rich soil. Now what could be better than a day on the farm? <laughs>